Wednesday somewhere. Anyway, I'm going to share with you something that um, I don't always share with everybody, but I thought it was kind of funny. You know, have you ever seen... Well, yeah, you've all watched cooking shows on TV and how the kitchen's pristine and everything's where it's supposed to be and um, it looks kind of cool. Well, I'm having a couple people over for dinner tonight. Shh, don't tell anybody, uh, but it'll be less than 10. And anyway, um, look at my kitchen. Here it comes. Here it comes. Look at this. Look at this mess. Look at. I've been lazy for a couple of days too. And you know what? Look at this. Look at this mess. Look at it. You know what? By the time people get here, it's going to look way good. And there's going to be some good food, and it's all going to be cleaned up. Hey, Kathy Wilkes, Sulphur Springs. Jackie, hey, Sulphur Springs, Winsboro. Where are you living, Jackie? Anyway, I just had to share this. Um, my nasty kitchen. There you go. But what the Lord had laid upon my heart today is that even though that kitchen is a mess... Pretty soon, it's going to be all cleaned up. There is going to be food coming out of the oven and off the... Oh, weather for Jackie. Hey. So there's going to be food coming all out of the oven and off the stove that's good, and the kitchen will all be cleaned up. And then I got to get some... That didn't look good. There. I was looking sick because it was so bright. Anyway, that there's good, it's all going to be cleaned up. And the food will taste good, I hope, I pray. And um, the table will be set. Look at my table now. Look at this. It's just plants. Remember how to make tea pitcher. I use this my camera stand now. Bible. Anyway, it's kind of fun, huh? And it's like, um, that's what the Lord prompted me today. And it's, you know, it's a great day. I feel good. I feel happy. I feel like I finally let the Lord have all this stuff that's trying to be making me crazy. And it's like I've got his joy now. I've got his joy back. So in First Peter, um, and I'm going to read from, I don't know, it's First Peter 1. And I'm going to read out of the message. And I love what this is because I think this is hope for today. We, oh, what a God we have, and how fortunate we are to have him, this father of our master Jesus. Because Jesus was raised from the dead, we have been given a brand new life and have everything to live for. Listen to that. We have everything to live for, including a future in heaven, and the future starts now. God is keeping careful watch over us in the future. The day is coming when you'll have it all, life healed and whole. I know how great this makes you feel, it makes me feel great, even though you have to put up with every kind of aggravation in the meantime. Pure gold put in the fire comes out of it proved pure. Genuine faith put through this suffering comes out proved genuine. When Jesus wraps this all up, it's your faith not your gold that God will have on display as evidence of this victory. God's got it. He's got it all. He knows it all. He sees it all. All we've got to do is get his joy, put a smile on our face, walk with a little bounce in our steps and say, God, you've got it. I trust you because you know what? There's not one thing that any of us can do to change any of this. Sure, we can protect ourselves, and if we get this stuff, stay away from people. We can be smart, but we can't change what's going on. But God can, and he's got it. His word says he's got it. So we've got to have faith in him and trust him. Just like I hope you have faith that my kitchen's going to be cleaned up pretty soon before company comes, and I'll have some food coming out that's nice and warm and hot, and it'll all be fine. So come on. Uh, um, I had a, a text today from a dear friend, and, and she said that as she was going through the checkout line at Walmart, she asked, you know, thank the cashier for 
working and doing everything. And uh, she just, the cashier started crying. And she said she's been screamed at, yelled at so much that she's just broken. And, you know, when we go through the line at the store, when we see anybody, just put a smile on your face. Ask them how, your day, how their day is going. Ask them, can we do anything? Is there anything we can pray with you for? Come on, we can make a difference. So stop. Stop and put your faith in Jesus Christ because he's got it all. So, you know, um, Lana, hi. Alice, hi. Um, oh, Jackie. Weatherford, Texas. These are a lot of people, old friends, new friends, dear friends. Um, thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching. Please go and read First Peter. And I want to read it again, the part in the message, because I love it. What a God we have. What a God we have. And how fortunate we are to have him. We're blessed. We're blessed that we have him. This father of our master Jesus. Because Jesus was raised from the dead. We just celebrated Resurrection Sunday, Easter. We've been given a brand new life. And have everything to live for. We have everything to live for. Including a future in heaven. Once we've accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior and confessed him, we have the hope of heaven. And the future starts now. As soon as you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, your future in heaven starts. God is keeping careful watch over us and the future. The day is coming when you'll have it, life healed and whole. I know how great this makes you feel, even though you have to put up with every kind of aggravation in the meantime. We're putting up with aggravation. So know that God's got it. He's seen it all. He's watching it. And you know what? He's watching me to see how I handle it, to see how I do this. He's watching you to see how you do it. So care about somebody today. Love on somebody today. Pray for somebody today. And if you need prayer, private message me about anything, or you can call me. 970-302-6282. I'll be glad to stop cleaning up my mess and, and visit with you for a little bit. So God bless and have a wonderful, wonderful day. And remember, God's got this and he's got you. Have a great day. Bye.